welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is shaking, YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the channel. Today, of course, is our favorite day of the week, the Hot 10 Comics of the Week Breakdown. Now, if you aren't familiar with this video, I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app, and I break them down for you guys, letting you know which I'd be buying, and of course, which I'd be staying away from. But before we get started in the video, like always, I want to remind you guys, if you are not a current sub of the channel, do yourself a favor, hit that sub button, smash the like button, button because it really helps the channel out and don't forget i'm giving away this awesome amazing spider-man number 16 to one lucky sub of the channel once we get to 7,000 subs with that said let's get into this week's breakdown Starting us off at number 10 this week is a copy of Tales from the Crypt number 46, which contains a story that was adapted for the 1972 Tales from the Crypt film and is CGC 5.0, just sold last week for a whopping $5,100, up 19% since 2021. Then we had a CGC 3.0 sale of a cool thousand bucks, up 19% since 2021. If you're a big pre-code horror fan, you probably want to own this book. I love a lot of these pre-code horror covers, especially Tales from the Crypt. But do I want to spend five thousand or even a thousand dollars on this book? Probably not. But if you're a big pre-code horror fan, you probably want to own this book. At number nine this week is the book that will not go away. It is a copy of Omega Man number three and the first appearance of Lobo. And we just had a C. CGC 9.8 sell last week for 379 bucks, up 11% over the average. This book still has not cracked $400 in a 9.8. You guys know how I feel about this book. I'm not spending a dime over 300 bucks. That's just how I feel. I don't think it's worth it. Too many copies out there for me, but if you're a big Lobo fan, you may want to own this one. Coming in at number 8 this week is some Silver Age goodness with a copy of Doctor Strange number 169 and the first Soto title Doctor Strange issue formerly known as Strange Tales. And yes, that is a mouthful. And we just had a CGC 9.6 sell last week for $3,950, up 6% over the average. We also had a CGC 7.5 sale of $440, up 16% over the average. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of the cover of Strange Tales 110, the first true appearance of Doctor Strange, but to spend almost $4,000 on a 9.6 of this issue doesn't make much sense considering it's not his first appearance. But hey, if you want to spend $400, or a high grade copy i'm okay with that but i'd rather have the first true appearance of dr strange to me that's always the better buy at the seventh spot for the second week in a row is a copy of iron fish number 14 and the first appearance of Sabretooth, the arch nemesis of wolverine and we just had a cgc 9.6 sell last week for 1486 bucks up seven percent over the average then we had a cgc 8.5 sale of only 500 dollars up four percent over the average if you guys watched this video last week i said i'd definitely be buying this book in high grades for around 500 bucks i totally think it's worth it and I do think at these great points, it's definitely still undervalued. I don't want to spend $1,500 on a 9.6. I don't see the value in that. To me, if you want to go ahead and grab a 9.8, that'd be awesome. But again, $500 or an 8.5, I think is totally doable. I'm definitely a buyer of this one at that grade. Holy potato. At number six is a massive Bronze Age key. It is a copy of Incredible Hulk number 181 and the first full appearance of Wolverine. And we just had a CGC 9.8 just sell last week week for $72,000, up 4% over the average. Then we had a CGC 6.0 sale of only $4,000, up 11% over the average. We know this book is one of the heavy hitters from the Bronze Age, if not the heaviest. I don't want to spend a crazy amount of money on this book. You guys know that. I do not own an Incredible Hulk 181 right here right now. I know Wolverine is a super popular character, but there are a ton of copies out there right now of this book and more that are still out there in the raw form. If you want to own the book, I suggest getting the copy that you can afford in your collection. Other than that, and you're not married to this book, I'd probably be staying away, and I know I'm going to get some hate for it. 
At number 5 this week is a copy of Captain America number 100 and the first solo title Captain America series in the Silver Age. And we just had a CGC 9.2 sell last week for 2074 bucks, up an insane 23% over the average. Then we had a CGC 7.5 sale of 650 bucks, up 33% over the average. If you guys were watching that Heritage auction sale we just had last week, there was a 9.9 .9 copy of this book that was available and it absolutely got crushed. Is that gonna go ahead and drive this book down right now? I'm not too sure, but either way, I can't spend this kind of money on the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America in his own title. To me, it's way too much money to spend on this book. I remember you could have had this one for about 100 to 150 bucks about five to six years ago. It's just crazy right now where this book is. I'd be staying away. Speaking of crazy, at the four spot this week is a copy of Daredevil number nine and the first appearance of Echo. And we just had a CGC 9.8 sell last week for only 250 bucks up 15% over the average. We all know the Echo series is out right now on Disney+. Plus. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. However, I am looking forward to seeing the Kingpin in this series. If you want to spend $250 on a 9.8, it's not a lot of money if you love the character, but if you don't, what's the reason we're buying this book right here right now? Now at the three spot is a copy of New Mutants 98 and the first appearance of the Merc with a Mouth, Deadpool. And we just had a CGC 9.8 sale last week of $1,499, up 2% over the average. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I only want to own this book in a 9.8 with white pages. There are so many copies out there and a ton more that are still coming to market as we know. With that said, guys, I don't want to spend $1,500 on this book. I always said that was the limit I was willing to spend on this book, but I'm consistently seeing this book sell on Elite Comics 11 or elsewhere for around $1,200 to $1,300. So to each his own, if you want to own a book, I'm okay with it. But ask yourself this, can you still have a better price going forward once this movie comes out? I think so, and that's why I haven't pulled the trigger as of yet. How about some classic cover goodness at number two? It is a copy of Batman number 423 and this iconic cover by the great Todd McFarlane. And we just had a CGC 9.8 sell last week for $2,278, up 3% over the average. You guys know I absolutely love this cover, but to spend $2,300 on a 9.8, is it worth it? I'm not too sure. If you want to go out and get a second print of this book for barely any money, I'm all for it just to have this iconic cover. Other than that, for a first print, I definitely want a 9.8, just not at the price that it's going for right now. So for me, I'm staying away. I could take that 2300 and put it towards a bigger key. And at the top spot this week is what else? Another book that will never go away in 2023, 2024. You guessed it. It is a copy of Uncanny X-Men number 130 and the first appearance of Dazzler. This is also the second appearance of Kitty Pride and Emma Frost. And we just had a CGC. 9.6 sell last week for 550 bucks up another 26 percent over the average that's crazy then we had a cgc 8.5 sale of 200 bucks up 22 percent over the average you guys know why this book is on this list everybody out there who collects comics is a major taylor swift fan regardless i'm hearing rumors right now that she's going to be playing herself in deadpool 3 not even the dazzler not even lady deadpool we do not know who she's going to play so if she does not play this character this book is going to get absolutely fucking demolished i'm staying away from this book at all costs right here right now unless you can get a monster deal Hope you guys enjoyed this week's list, some of the same crap, but some really nice books finally appearing on this list. It is now time for my best buy of the week, and you guys are not going to like this one, I can tell you that right now. It is a copy of Iron Fist number 14 and the first appearance of Sabretooth. Now, why didn't I go with Hulk 181? It's because right now, everybody has a Hulk 181, and there's a bazillion copies out there that you could still have. Not to mention, there are some of these books that are on that CGC list that have been tampered with. So for right now, I'm definitely going with Iron Fist 14 for 500 bucks for a high-grade copy. I still think it's worth it, and I still think it's undervalued. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.